Hey guys, TechFi, and today I have a video on the Kindle Fire HD. So it's finally time for a Marshmallow ROM. Now, um, it is like very good here. I didn't actually expect it to get one, and I was only looking every couple of weeks. So it was pointed out to me by this awesome dude. Can't remember his name, but it'll be on screen now. So, so far, it's been fine. I have had no problems apart from features like that that don't work as it's a port and an unofficial ROM however apart from that there's been no lag so it's been a great ROM and without further ado let's get into this <laughs> So we're going to install the ROM now, you're going to have to have twerp installed and as with any other ROM you are going to have to wipe and swipe, swipe to factory reset. So this is not going to wipe your data or anything, it just means we can install the ROM. If you do not do this you will have boot loops, that will definitely happen. I've tried not doing it every time I've had a boot loop, it's just a known fact. So you're going to go install and I have mine in a folder called CM13, where is it? Oh dear, right. Oh, right. There it is. Sorry, my bad. So, you're going to have to have these two files the ROM itself, CM13 Tate, and OpenG Apps 6.0. This is the mini version, which should be fine. It's got all the basic apps like the Play Store, then you can download any others. Just means it takes up less storage on the system folder. So, obviously, you're just going to tap on the um, ROM first to install that and swipe to confirm the flash and that should start the install this may take a while so I'll be back when it's done so now the ROM is all installed obviously you don't want to reboot system we're just going to go home to install G apps which you obviously need to do swipe to confirm flash and start it doing it again now this is usually doesn't take too long it's quicker than the ROM however it may take a while so once again I think I'll be back once it's done so guys, it's installed successfully as expected. Now we can just reboot system and we shall start to boot up. So here we are, Kindle Fire, and it should go blue in a second. As okay, well, never mind. They've okay, they've seemed to have changed the what's called the boot logo where the Kindle Fire goes blue to this marshmallow logo. Now, um, yeah, I'll hopefully I'll put on screen now the boot animation, I'm assuming that it's going to be the same as the default Silent Mod 13 one like it was on the Moto G video. So I'll be back when the device is fully booted up. So we are fully booted up and it's gone through the normal upgrading apps. I've gone through the setup. As normal when you install a ROM it, ROM, it did take five to 10 minutes. I wasn't with it the whole time so I don't know exactly how long it took. But it will usually take a while so don't be surprised if it takes insanely long then you've probably in a boot loop and go back wipe and try again so it's a great rom thank you guys so much for watching there'll be written instructions on my website techfi.co.uk there'll be a link in the description along with the downloads thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time